what can you do with a new refurbished Rainbow E2 Gold Series in its blower mode? Well, you can blow out all these bags. Lots and lots of bags. A lot of Kirby bags here, and there's one Oric bag in there. See if you can spot it. It's the one on the left. And then you have much smaller bags like Hoover Y and Ricard type Peppa bags. Greetings, VAC fans. Well, it's a fairly mild Ohio January 2019 day, and Thomas Rechtenwald, who actually donated this E2 two speed gold machine that I just redid the bearings on a few days ago was asking me to make sure that I use it now that the bearings are in good shape. All right, that's fine. Probably not what he expected. And because I don't have the electric hoses, but I do have a simple like wet pickup non-electric hose, I will use it to go and blow out a boatload of HEPA bags. And what's so interesting is this bag that I have right here is from August of 2017. I have been using it in my second floor Kirby Centria 2 upstairs. I have it there in the master bedroom. And if you can see this, let me see if I can get a better focus here. You can see that the cardboard universal slash F connector is kind of beginning to wear out because I have blown this out at least eight times. And that's a, that's a little flake of something that's not actually dirt on there. So what I'm going to do as part of this video is blow this one out and then we're going to test it in the basement lab. We're going to do an airflow test with it blown out, of course, and we're going to do a particle emissions test. And you already have a baseline video of what this charcoal Kirby bag can actually do on my particle meter. So I want to see if, well, realistically, about 16 months later and at least eight blowouts can this thing actually still hold its own? Is it really terrible or is it near new? Hmm, let's find out.
is the last bag, and I hope you can see that. That's what's in the garbage can right there. And let's see here. Let me change the focus. Do 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 do. There we go. So that would be like my big mess. I don't know, that might be a year's worth of dirt or so. Um, but a lot of that is also test dirt. That's not necessarily house dirt. This is just like dryer sheets. I was trying various experiments. But there you go. So, blowing out the bags because you can actually reuse them. So, let's go ahead and get rid of my big mess. Uh, I suppose you could call it that if you wanted to. Whoa. <laughs> and there it is. Dusty. Here's all the bags I blew out today. And this is the one we're going to concentrate on. So now let's go ahead and test the particle count for this well used and abused bag. So let's see what we have here for a test rig. Got my G5 set up in blow mode using the exact same stuff that I've been using all the way along. And this bag originally tested at a little less than 100. I think it was like 90 something or other. You can take a look at my five Kirby bags particle tests back from, I think it was the end of 2017. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what the used and abused version does 16 months later. <laughs>
right, so we started down uh, a little bit lower than 646, ended up about mid 600s. So we might be averaging something like, say, in the four to maybe 500 range. Now that's a lot higher than the under 100, I think it was 90, that uh, this bag tested, well, 16 some odd months ago. So definitely the particle count went up. Is it H11 anymore? No way. But is it still filtering well enough that you shouldn't be worried about it? Absolutely. Of course, the choice is yours. Obviously, replace the bag if you want the absolute best filtration. But for those people who just want to go ahead and blow it out again, well, you're seeing the results. This just isn't that bad. Well under a thousand is well within range of uh, not going to make you sneeze or worry about like dust blowing everywhere. So this is still, relatively speaking, uh, two thumbs up as far as a particle count. What I've just completed is the final set of measurements in this very long journey to figure out what kind of quality remains when you blow out a Kirby HEPA charcoal bag. So we already verified, I'm just gonna use some loose numbers here to keep the math easy. What we already verified was compared to a new one, this one has about five times more particle emissions. So rounded, if this was like 100, this is around 500. And you say, well, that's just really terrible. Well, do you remember what this tested at? Even after I went and washed it several times, still actually very good as far as my particle meter says, but you're talking well over 30,000. So before you go, oh, 500, that's just terrible. If that's 30,000 and this is 500, that's a difference of 60 to one. So this still, in its current ratty shape, filters the air 60, not six, 60 times better than this does. And 50 years ago, people weren't complaining, as far as I know, about how bad this filters, unless it was damaged, I suppose. So this is still filtering the air pretty darn well at a 500 count. Now, I've just completed the airflow difference tests. And I'm not actually going to give you exactly what the CFM count was because everybody's machine's different, everybody's line load voltage is different, so I want to give you the percentage difference. So if you have a machine and say you have a brand new one of these bags and then you use it and use it and use it, what do you expect to lose when it ends up looking like this? Well guess what? Fully blown out, you lose about 2.1% CFM. So what does that mean for a machine like this? It means a loss of, say, maybe three-ish or so CFM. If you have an Avalier, it runs a little higher CFM. Maybe it's like three and a half CFM. If you have an older, say, G series, like a G6, G4, 5, that kind of thing, maybe that means a two CFM loss. Bottom line is, it's just a couple of CFM. So if you want to do something like this, where you reuse the bag over a long period of time and you don't do anything dumb, like vacuum up something you shouldn't, I'll leave that up to you and your imagination of what that should be, you can still use this. The particle count is well in the acceptable range and the airflow loss after you completely blow it out is completely insignificant. So this is the new bag that I'm actually going to Put this, this came out of my Centria 2. I've had this in here for 16 months. So this bag is going to go away, and this bag is going to go in the Centria 2. And thank you so much for watching. This has been a very long test, and I hope the people who like these kinds of things actually uh, enjoy the culmination of all these results. Until next time, happy vacuuming.